Now we're going to look at how to incorporate images into our cabinet sources that have already been digitized and that are Triple IF compliant. But before we dive into this, what exactly does Triple IF compliant mean? So Triple IF stands for the International Image Interoperability Framework. And in a nutshell, this is a way of making sure that digitized images can be shared and presented across different image repositories. So if you want to know more about how this works or just what this is, there's loads of information on their website here. You just type in the address that I've highlighted at the top and to see which institutions participate, you click community and scroll down to the list here to participating institutions. And this means that any institution on this list um, who have digitized images that can be brought into cabinet using IIIF. So the first thing we need to do is to identify an image that we want to bring in. So I found this example of the Zodiac Man on Digital Bodleian. And we know it's IIIF compliant because we have the logo down here. So if you're on a website of digitized sources, uh, always look out for the IIIF logo. So first, before we bring the image in, we need to create a source for that uh, image to rest in. So we're going to do that now by going into the unit and clicking add a source. Now I just want the general um, source title to illuminated Zodiac Man. And then we go to add a source media by clicking add another item and then the plus symbol here. So first I'm just going to add the title. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the name of the manuscript that the Zodiac Man comes from. Uh, and instead of drag dragging an image into this field here or uploading an image using choose file, I'm going to scroll down slightly to this part of the page where the IIIF logo is. Uh, so there are a couple of ways in which we can do this. And one is specific to Digital Bodleian. I'm going to be using this one, uh, enter the URL of the IIIF manifest because it applies to more digitized um, collections. So how do we find the URL of this manifest? We go to the image and then we find the IIIF logo and click on it. And here we have a load of information, but what we need is the URL. So we copy and paste that from up here and paste that in and click fetch. So there's an issue here that this manifest doesn't just relate to one image, but a collection of images. So we need to specify which image we want to include. And we see here that uh, there are only two images involved. And if we go to the manifest, we can see that this is true because there are only two images in this manifest. And we want the second one, two out of two. So all we need to do now is click on two. It'll automatically generate a thumbnail. And if we can check that's correct, we click generate and you should have a success sign here in a green box. And then we can add all the metadata here um, and click save. Then we save our source and save it within the unit as we have done each time before. And here we have our new source. So if we click on it, it will take us to that triple IF image. In summary, bringing in triple IF compliant images is a really easy way to bring in images from a huge variety of collections all over the world and to not have to worry about things like image quality or image rights.